Hi, welcome aboard Orca Explorer. We've just wrapped up the Palm Beach Boat Show and I wanted to do a quick walkthrough to let you have a look inside. So she's a, a 2008 80-foot Hatteras enclosed bridge style. Uh, as you can see, a very modern and contemporary interior. This is probably the only 80 enclosed bridge with this type of uh, interior that you'll come across. The owner, the current owner, is the guy who built the boat and designed it himself. He had his own in-house design team come in and put the interior together, and he also modified some things from the exterior. So typically from Hatteras, their traditional style is very uh, heavy with the woods and, and very contemporary, uh, sorry, very traditional on, on the ins inside um, and can sometimes feel a, a little bit heavy and, and a little bit smaller. Here they opened up the windows, they reduced the amount of um, woodwork and, and millwork around the, around the mullions of the windows. So there's a lot of light that floods into here. It is just about to get, to get dark, so it seems a little darker in here. And we're also um, next to another boat. But the woods, are these are the same uh, veneers and, and finish that you'll see in a couple of other areas throughout the boat. We'll go down and take a look at the staterooms now. Uh, when she was built, she was, quote unquote, the highest spec 80 Hatteras that they'd ever built. She has zero speed stabilizers or ad anchor stabilization. She has VSAT for global data streaming. So wherever you go, you'll have access to internet and, and emails. She has bow and stern thruster. You saw uh, just a second ago, the huge hydraulic swim platform that's at the back that's um, actually extends the boat to about 86 feet long. Um, the benefit of that is that you can hold a much larger tender. So they have a pretty big um, and wide Boston Whaler tender that has uh, extra capacity to the fuel tank so that the boss can go out and dive and explore all day and, and not have to worry about running out of fuel. It also means that you don't have the davit up on the flybridge, on the exterior part of the flybridge, which can take up a lot of square footage up there. Um, it means that that area is completely open and ready for uh, guest use and, and social use. So here you have the day head. It's a four stateroom layout. It has five bathrooms, this being one of them. The other four are the four en suites. Downstairs here you'll notice that the boat feels much more um, open in, in the halls and, and in the uh, stairwells. Because it's such a, a lot of use of, of whites and creams and neutral colors, it doesn't feel cramped in here at all. So down into the master cabin, this is a full beam master cabin. It's on the lowest part of the boat, so it's the most stable area when underway. Beautiful contemporary feel continues throughout this room. The two center portholes there, they uh, both open on either side so you can really open this area up. has a Bang & Olufsen entertainment system in the boat. Uh, the navigation screens that are up in the bridge can repeat onto these screens here. You can see it's the cameras right now. Uh, just behind us here, this screen, this is a repeater screen or this, sorry, this is a selector screen. So all of the screens that are up in the bridge, all the navigation screens, the radars, the chart plotters, the um, vessels, ships management system can be selected on here and put onto the screen, both here in the salon and up in the sky lounge. And you also have control to pan the cameras around and be able to uh, monitor different areas of the boat or even if you're at anchorage you can monitor what other boats are doing to make sure that they're not dragging or or would um, come into contact with uh, with you at anchor. So into the bathroom there still the the contemporary feel the cabinetry there that's similar woods that we saw up in the main salon and, and the dining room now, Hatteras give you a, a couple of options as far as layout here. You can have a his and hers bathroom, or like we've done here, we just have the one entrance into the bathroom 
and then on the other side of the room here they now have space for a large cedar lined walk-in closet so without this option it means that there's uh, you're slightly limited as far as hanging space in these models so it's a great option to have just the one entrance into the bathroom still a huge bathroom but you get the the benefit of this uh, this large closet So each cabin has a satellite feed, so you have control of satellite TV. Um, as I mentioned, you can put in the Bang & Olsen system, you can put the navigation screens here. All the cabins also have games consoles. So three of the cabins except for one have games consoles um, to keep the, the kids entertained whilst they're, whilst they're on board. So let's take a look through to the, the other cabins. Now forwards here on the port side, this is the twin. Now this twin can be a suite as well. This is a Pullman bed that can lift up and underneath is some more storage and uh, a little seating area or, or a little bench area. So this is almost sort of a, a VIP cabin. Each of the cabins have their own ensuite bathroom, nice showers, a very um, very comfortable bathrooms for this size boat. And the beauty of the 80 foot Hatteras is, is the volume. This is a far greater volume than you would find on any other 80 foot boat. Um, it means that you can still run the boat with two crew, but the overall um, usability of the boat is sort of comparable to a, a much larger vessel. Of course, the, the maintenance and crew salaries are going to be your two largest expenses as an owner. So to be able to keep that expense down as far as the crew side of things is, is very, very important for you. This cabin here was originally designed as a, a cabin stroke gym. Um, right now they have it set up as the office, but originally they had some gym equipment in here, some exercise equipment. The two beds here, they are Pullman beds, um, so you can see they both they both lift up and, and fold away and this area is completely open then. Nice size uh, bathroom again and the portholes throughout the boat are, are all fairly large as well, so a lot of natural light flooding into, into all of these cabins. And of course with it being such a a contemporary feel all of the woods are, are light down here the the wall treatments are light it has a, a neutral color to the carpet so it feels much larger in here than than uh, other boats with that traditional design this is uh, slightly modified compared with what the original layout was they've set it up now as sort of a nanny's cabin so it means you can have extra occupancy here with this bunk <laughs> and um, the overall occupancy of the, of the boat is um, nine guests in the four cabins. So just behind you, here's the uh, the other bathroom for this cabin. So as, again, as you can see, a very, very comfortable area. So let's go and take a look now up on the main deck. Of course, the benefit of having the master cabin down here, apart from it being very stable, um, is that all of the main deck level is now completely open and uh, able to be used for guest social areas. And of course, you have that great country style kitchen. So let's go and take a look at that. So we're back up on the main deck now in the dining room, as you can see. So let's just move forwards into the country style kitchen. Um, and you can get idea for how large that, that space is. Now, unfortunately, like I mentioned, it is getting dark now, so you don't get an idea of how much light quite floods in, but you can see the huge expanse of windows here. This whole area, because they're, they're forward angle windows, that's just the sunlight floods into this in, entire room. Um, so in here we have all stainless steel appliances. All these appliances are, are upgraded from, from what Hatteras can offer you as their, their base spec model. 
um, granite countertops, wood floors, beautiful dark wood floors, um, a fairly large table here. This can easily seat the um, total occupancy of the boat. Now either side, you can hear on, on the port and starboard side, there's access to the exterior of the boat and to go up forwards and there are some small areas out there that, that you could um, set up bean bags or, or cushions and things to, uh, to enjoy that area of the boat. There's a TV here, a pop-up TV that comes up out of the granite worktop and that's on an electric retractable uh, motor. There is um, just a great feeling to this area. It's like a house. Um, everybody always spends most of their time in the kitchen in any house wherever you are in the world and it's the same with uh, these style boats that have this country style galley. Um, just a, a beautiful beautiful area that, that really gets a lot of use. So let's go upstairs um, up into the enclosed flybridge. So here we are up in the enclosed flybridge. You'll see by looking around that this area is completely open, ready for you to do with it whatever you like. Um, really, the sky's the limit with this area. Uh, this owner liked to do some entertaining, so he wanted this area a little bit more open. Um, it continues the dark hardwood flooring. Over here we have the large Bang & Olufsen TV. This is on an electric lift that lowers and, and raises. This then turns into a great buffet countertop. Another option that you won't see very often is the electrically lowered windows. Now I think as standard Hatteras has one at the back on the port side but here we actually have four window sections that retract. So over here on the port side I'll just lower this one for you now. So that drops down all of the way. I'll stop it there. You have the same window on the starboard side behind the TV here that's raised. That drops down. Over here we have the third one. This back one drops down. This is the other one that drops down. And you can imagine with, with this now open onto that huge exterior deck that doesn't have any davit, doesn't have the tender that has to be picked up and stored up there. Um, sometimes you'll have a, a built-in seating area there. None of that's there. It, we have freestanding um, dining chairs and, and deck sun lounges. Um, there is a tea table that goes up there. All of that's completely open and very user-friendly for for guest socializing. So this whole area all opens up, turns into a, a, a beautiful entertaining space. Um, here you could put some love seats, some sofas, you could really use it for, for, uh, for whatever purpose you like. Over towards the helm station here, we have the three Ricardo race chairs. These are all electrically operated they are hands down the most comfortable Ricardo seats or, or helm seats that, that I've ever sat in. Um, here on the five screens, we've actually got the, the furthest one switched off at the moment. But here you have the uh, navigation screens, the chart plotters, radar screens. You have AIS system that overlays between the, the map syncing and also the radar screen. So you really have... Um, optimal control over all the systems here. The uh, infrared or the, or the heat sensing night vision camera is, is controlled from here. Um, all of the cameras can actually be controlled from this uh, games console controller. Um, the night vision camera can pick up different heat sources. You can have it display as black white or hot white depending whether you're looking at in day or at night. It's also great system for um, being underway at night if you can um, imagine picking up semi-submerged objects in the water you can then safely navigate around them also essentially for a man overboard situation um, you can target that person and the camera will 
automatically track that heat source so that you don't have to stay there with your eyes on them. The, the ship systems will do that for you. Um, also here we have the ship's management system which controls and monitors um, bilges, tanks, temperatures, pressures, um, everything is displayed from here as well as the usual Furuno displays we have the um, controls for the zero speed stabilizers and also displays for the engines so fantastic um, open space up here for an enclosed flybridge um, you really have a, a, a great area up here and fantastic systems on board as well so here we are um, in the last area of the boat in the crew area and the engine room um, here this is um, got a lot of sort of versatility to it this is set up as a, a king it can be split into two single beds you'd put the bedside unit in between the two if you, the boat wasn't being run with a couple on board it's um, great to have that option this is the uh, bathroom for the crew uh, nice shower in there the um, area in here has a uh, little microwave, there's a TV in here, there's a little uh, refrigerator behind us there. And then of course into the um, engine room. And this is a, a very, very clean engine room. There's a dive compressor in here, 1200 gallon per day water maker. They've got the MTU 2000s on board, uh, great fuel efficiency out of these engines. Um, at around 10 knots the boat has about a thousand mile range which is fantastic for this um, size boat the Onan generators one either side in their soundproof boxing and then further round is the air conditioning system now you can see they've actually upgraded the capacity of this air conditioning system so they have three separate coils here to each of the hermetic compressors um, which means you have much more capacity for cooling the ship with just using one of those compressors. So as you can see, it's very, very clean. There isn't a weep of oil. There isn't a, a lick of dirt anywhere. Um, they really use this space well. Up on the roof here, we have some mountain bikes that are strapped up. Um, a very, very clean space here. Um, as you can see, it's uh, pretty much a full height room, so the ventilation around here is fantastic. Um, great for circulating the air in here and, and not having any kind of overheating issues. So, very, very nice area. So here we are on the exterior portion of the upper deck. Um, it's getting a little bit dark out here, but we want to show you how open this area was. Um, if you look over to the boat that's next to us, that's a, a similar layout to how um, these boats, these AD Hatteras's are when they have the dav davit up on this deck. So you can see the majority of that outside space is um, unusable when that tender is, is on board. Uh, coincidentally, that is also a, an enclosed flybridge model. But looking down over the side here, uh, you can see that huge teak hydraulic swim platform um, is is perfect for for housing that that tender and the knock on effect of of having the tender down there is you're now completely open to use this deck for uh, guest social areas now we do usually have a teak table laid out here we don't have it here right now um, with this area not being a working area, i.e. having the, the davit over here, which actually takes up a, a large square footage of this deck, it means that you can put teak down here and, and not be concerned about it getting damaged. So really great options. Um, another thing I'll point out while I'm here, are these four um, control stations or, or wing stations. So there's that one that you see there, and then there's also this same station over here. So you have two on this deck, and you also have two on the lower deck. So these give you control to the bow thruster, the stern thruster, clutching in and out of gear. You can also change the RPM of the engine. Um, so great feature for 
being able to run the boat just with the two crew, it means that they're a lot more um, freed up to, to maneuver around the boat as they're docking. So the captain can be up here whilst he's coming into the, to the slip and then move down to the lower helm stations where he's right there ready to change the um, level of the fenders or to, to, or to receive lines. Um, so a great feature to have them up there. Another nice thing to point out here is they have access up to the um, arch and, and where the uh, electrical equipment is. Because this boat is such a high spec boat, they do have more um, equipment on board than most of the other, in fact, more than any of the other 80 hatrices that are out there. So being able to get access to all of that for maintenance or changing the LMB and the satellites if you're moving around from the Mediterranean to the to the, uh, the US or to the Caribbean, that's a, a great feature. The other thing over here, they have the upgraded Gagno grills and they've opted to, to double up on those as well here. So great features, um, a great boat. She will be in Fort Lauderdale until she sells. Uh, we do have some brochures and some um, yacht packs and, and different pieces of, of information on the boat. So contact us via the, the website or you can email me direct at philip.bell at insideyachting.com and we'll send the, the brochure containing all the color photographs, all the detailed descriptions and the full specifications and we'll get that over to you um, right away. So thanks for watching. And we will see you uh, again in Inside the Yachting where we bring you the, the uh, market updates, the, the Wednesday Market Watch and also the weekly reviews. So thanks for joining. We'll see you again. Thank <laughs> you.